Hey. What are you doing here? I'm a novice from the monastery. I run errands for the magicians and also the paladins. I have provided the three innkeepers in the city with wine from the monastery. Who are the three innkeepers? One of them is the good man here behind the bar. Then there is Kerrigan, who has his tavern on the Temple Square, and Cardiff, the owner of the tavern in the Harbor District. What can you tell me about the monastery? We novices seek enlightenment in prayer to Innos and learn the principles of faith from the magicians. We serve them as we serve Innos and prepare ourselves for the union with the fire. Well, take me to the monastery. Forget it. Do you know how many creatures I had to evade on the way? When I think of all those blood flies, wolves, and goblins, I'm glad that I don't have to leave here anymore. Besides, you can't enter the monastery anyway. But why not? Entrance is only permitted to magicians, paladins, and novices. How can I become a novice? If a man feels the deep desire... Hey, just tell me what the conditions are. You need the offerings, a sheep, and... A thousand gold pieces. How am I supposed to get that much gold? Since you obviously don't know anyone who would pay that for you, you'll simply have to go to work. Where can I find a sheep? From the farmers, of course. But you won't get one for nothing. Hear ye, and hap from this moment onward, Lord Andre will take the supreme... All the... Hey, you... Hey, what's up? We, uh, as long as the paladins don't have any new assignments for me, I, I can have myself a couple of beers here. <laughs> what more could you ask? You're working for the paladins? Well, yeah, I, I report to them on the situation in the city. At the moment, everything is quiet. How are things with the orcs? No reason to worry. We in the city guard and the paladins have everything under control. Go home and let us do our work. We're watching over the town and its citizens. Oh. Would you like another beer? <sighs> mm, there's nothing better than a cool ale. You were about to say something about the orcs. Oh yeah, yeah, right. The orcs are absolutely no threat to the city. They're stuck in the uh, Valley of Mines, and, and the pass is, is held by the paladins. <laughs> Not even a meat bug could get through there. Would you like another beer? Well, I won't say no to a decent pint. They've even spotted an orc outside of town. Yeah, right. The dangerous orc outside the city. A real monster of an orc. Well, he's bound to attack the city soon. Listen, we'll kick that fat orc in his fat ass if he comes too close to the city. <sighs> Got it? I see. Would you like another beer? <clears throat> A tasty bitter ale is absolutely the best. You know, you don't often meet someone who'll treat you to a beer. <clears throat> You're all right. Hear hey, ye, come inhabitants closer. of Corinus. Take a break By and have a sip of cool order beer. Of the Honorable Lord, Lord Hagen, Andre is springing for a few barrels of free beer. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, 
each inhabitant of the city is to prepare himself accordingly. Everyone is to begin training in the skills of combat immediately and to arm himself appropriately. How strange. It seems to me that I have met you before, traveler. Well, great are the mysteries of time and space. Oh, please forgive my rudeness, son of patience. I have not even greeted you yet. Welcome, friend. Take a seat on my humble rugs and enjoy a pipe in peace. Who are you? My name is Abu Jin ibn Jadir ibn Omar Khalid ben Haji al-Sharidi. I am a seer and a prophet, an astrologer and a purveyor of tobacco. What kind of tobacco do you offer? My pipes are filled with spicy, refreshing apple tobacco. Help yourself whenever you want, son of adventure. Do you have other tobacco as well? I offer only the very best tobacco. This apple blend is a symphony from my homeland, the Southern Isles. But, of course, I'm always open to trying a different sort of tobacco. If somebody should succeed, in producing a really good tobacco. How's that done? Start with my apple tobacco as a basis, and then try combining it with another ingredient. This is done at an alchemist's bench, provided you know the essentials of alchemy. Where can I get apple tobacco? I shall give you two portions. It is up to you, in your wisdom, to do with them whatever you want. If you crave more, then direct your steps toward Zuris, the master of potions. He produces this tobacco, and he sells it too. Can you make me a prophecy? My services are yours for a modest fee, oh father of generosity. How much do you want? For a poultry, 25 coins. I shall risk a glance through time for you, but remember... The future is always uncertain. All I can do is glimpse some fragments of time. Tell me about the future. All right, seeker of knowledge. I shall now enter a state of trance. Are you ready? Orcs. They are guarding an entry. An old tunnel. The Valley of Mines. Men in shining armor. A magician. Your friend is with them. He is waiting for you. Fire! An attack! A mighty creature. The flames, many, shall die. What is that? A city, ruins, Quarhodron in Jakandar. He is summoned. Quarhodron in Jakandar. I am sorry. The vision is over. There's nothing more I can see. Hear ye, inhabitants of Corinus, by the explicit order of the Honorable Lord Hagen, the following decree is... Hey, you! I'm Zurus, Master of Potions. Do you need an essence of healing or a magic elixir? Then you've come to the right place. I can't take care of everything for everybody. Do you brew your own potions? No, I either get them from the monastery or I buy them from Constantino, the alchemist. If you're interested in brewing potions, then talk to him. He needs an assistant. But he's too pig-headed to hire someone himself. He's just as stubborn as a mule. He always passes me when he goes out on the East Gate to collect plants for his potions. That's not what my husband thinks. Where exactly does Constantino gather his herbs? He always goes through the Eastern City Gate here and then disappears into the wilderness to the left. He once told me that just about everything grows there, except for King Sorrel. That's not what I heard. Has Constantino ever told you where to find King Sorrel? 
I once heard him say that the stuff grows near stone circles, near Lobart's farm. That's a farm near the other gate. There's one of those stone circles. I think it's on a hill. It used to be a grave or something. Show me your wares. That's an open secret. Everybody knows by now. He can't keep anything to himself. That's not what my husband thinks. Well done. Sarah is where she belongs. I have taken over her goods, so if you need a That's weapon, come thinks. to me. He simply I've got to go. Much. Suit yourself. He'd better sh... What do you know about the Thieves' Guild? Listen, if you get my gold back for me from that Rengaru fellow, I'll tell you what I know. Everybody knows by now. Go away. Don't tell me that. And he works all day, too. And thus spake Adonos to his brothers, Never again shall you walk upon my land, for it is sacred, and so shall it be. But the human and the beast wage war upon the land. Do you sell weapons too? Forget it. Everything I make goes to the paladins or the militia. I have a commission for 100 swords from Lord Hagen. He wants to equip the city guard. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. Brian will have finished his apprenticeship soon, and then he'll leave the city. Are you good for anything? If you mean, do I know blacksmith's work? No, that's not what I meant. Sooner or later, the orcs are going to lay siege to the city, and then the only men who will count will be those who are in a position to defend our city. And I won't take on anyone as an apprentice who will disgrace me by fleeing the city with the women and the good-for-nothings, instead of holding the fort here with the men. I'm not a good-for-nothing. Those are big words. Can you back them up with big deeds? What are you getting at? Bring me an orc's weapon. Orcs have been seen near the city. With a bit of luck, you won't have to search for long. If you manage to bring one down, I'll take you on as an apprentice, provided the other masters agree. Let's talk again about that orc thing. What? Your orc is as good as dead. Good. Then stop wasting your breath and let your deeds speak for themselves. Hey, you, wait. Uh, you look familiar to me. What do you want? I've seen your face before somewhere, right? Here. We found this picture on some bandits we picked up a few days ago. It looks a lot like you. Apparently, those guys were looking for you. Gee, I'd never have thought of that myself. Very funny. What did those guys want from you? Ask them yourself. You've got them safely locked up, haven't you? No, they're dead. I guess we'll never know then. If you're in some kind of trouble, go talk to Lord Andre. Maybe he can help you. You'll find him in the barracks. What do you know about the bandits? They've all come from that blasted mining colony. But there are several splinter groups. Some are holed up in the mountains, and others have joined up with Ona, the landowner. But it's the bandits outside of town who cause the most problems. They're the reason that none of the merchants venture beyond the city gates now. What do you know about the bandits who robbed Hacken the merchant? Oh, that matter. Don't remind me. As far as we know, they're responsible for a lot of the attacks on merchants. Those rats have crawled into their holes and don't dare come out again. Once, we were able to track them down and follow them but we broke off pursuit in the woods outside the city. There's too many beasts roaming around there. It's much too dangerous. But there's one more thing. A few of the stolen goods have shown up in Corinus. 
This means that they know how they can smuggle the wares into town and sell them. Yeah, we suspect they have a fence in the city, but we haven't been able to catch the guy yet. If you find out anything about the business, remember Lord Andre has posted a bounty for the fence. Where did the bandits who had my wanted poster come from? We picked them up near the landowner's place, but they didn't look like Onai's people. I think they're part of a smaller group which is holed up in the mountains near Onar's farm. But if you intend to go there, let me warn you. Those cutthroats make short work of everyone. I'll remember that. How's the situation? At the moment, it's quiet. Only the bandits outside the city are causing us problems. Hey, you! How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes. And did you also get the blessing of a priest of Inos? Yes, I did. Then you shall have my blessing as well. No matter what path you decide to take, take pride in doing a good job, my boy. Got my own opinion about that. Can you teach me how to pick locks? Hmm, I don't know whether you can be trusted or not. For all I know, you might be one of those layabouts who only c I'm not gonna do better. Did you pick that up then? If he doesn't see that, I can't help him. Hello, stranger. You must be hungry and thirsty. Perhaps I can interest you in my wares. I was actually on my way to see the paladins. There's little chance of that. Since the paladins well, made themselves at home in the upper end of town, hardly anyone gets in there anymore. Be a problem. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? Me? No, nah, I don't have much say here myself. There are a few people in the lower city who have enough influence to get you past the guards. Mateo, my boss, is one of them. Maybe you should talk to him. Where did you pick that up then? Where can I find Mateo? You're standing right outside his shop. Just go on in. He's practically always there. Really didn't deserve that. What about the other influential citizens? The merchants and master craftsmen here on the main street are the most important figures in the city. You should try to get accepted by one of them as an apprentice like me. Since I started working for Mateo, the people in the city treat me with respect. It's not what I heard. I need some money, and I'm looking for work. I've heard that Bosper has trouble with his suppliers. His shop is right over there. Do you really they say he pays that? pretty well. What do you have to it's offer? The I've heard of it. At the moment, I don't have much choice. The damned Where's landowner doesn't deliver anymore. And what we get from the small farms isn't enough much. to meet the demands of the city. That's really not Tell me problem. more about the peasants' revolt. It's quite simple. Onar, so sure. the fat landowner, won't pay any more taxes to the city. Imagine, we're at war with the orcs, and that fat I slob wants everything sense. for himself. Normally, the city guard would take firm you measures you in do. such cases. But now comes the best part. They change. say Onar has hired mercenaries to keep the troops from the city that. off his back. Mercenaries! The whole yeah, thing will end in a see. damn war, as if one war weren't enough. It's all just gossip. What do you know about Onar's mercenaries? I, I heard that, that most of them are former convicts from the mining colony. And their leader's supposed to have been a big shot with the king, a general or something, sure. whom they put away as a traitor. These are no, terrible times. He he knew better. Show me your wares. That for me. That's really not my problem. I don't know why he gets so worked up. That doesn't surprise me. I don't know why he gets so worked up. That's really not my problem. He didn't get that from me.
Hey, can you give me something to eat? Here, take this. You're a good lad. that all along. Will it ever change? Where did you pick that? Welcome one? to my shop, stranger. I am Bosper. I craft bows and trade in furs. Hey, what brings you to Carinus? I need to get into the upper quarter. Where the paladins are? Forget it. You need to be a respected citizen here, or at least hold a decent job. As a stranger, you stand no chance of getting in. I'm looking for work. Hmm. I could use a new apprentice. The last one just gave up his job two days ago. Do you know anything about hunting then? Well... I could teach you how to skin animals. I'll pay you well for every skin you bring me. What if I want to sign on with one of the other masters? Uh, Balderdash. Harrod and Matteo already have apprentices. Constantino the Alchemist is a loner, and he hasn't taken an apprentice in years. And as for Thorben, everyone knows he's dead broke. He probably couldn't even pay you. I, on the other hand, am in urgent need of an apprentice, and I pay well, too. But no matter where you want to sign on, you need the approval of all other masters from the lower part of town. Why did your apprentice give up his job? All he said was that it had become too dangerous out there. If you're really interested, then you can ask him yourself. His name is Bartok. He's probably hanging out near Corrigan's Tavern. Go through the underpass from the smithy, then you're headed straight for it. I've heard that someone stole from you. Who told you that? Probably Bartok, huh? Didn't he have anything better to tell you? Oh, well. Let me tell you, if I get hold of this bastard, he can say his prayers. I left the shop for only a moment. When I came back, I could only just see him leave with my bow on his shoulder. I called the guards right away, but the lowlife ran towards the harbor, and they lost him there. I lit a bonfire under their asses then, and they searched the entire harbor district, but they didn't find a thing. Those bumbling lackeys. I bet my bow is still in town somewhere. I informed the guards on both city gates, and they haven't seen anyone leave with my bow. When I get my hands on that bastard, Show me your wares. I'm in enough trouble as it is. Really? How interesting. Will I get your approval to sign up with a different master? Uh, all right. You shall have my approval, but on one condition. Work for me, at least for a short time. That way, you can find out for yourself whether you like my craft or not. And who knows? 
Maybe you'll end up liking it, and you'll stay with me. If you're good enough to sign on with me, you're also good enough for all others here. What do you want me to do for you? I will teach you how to skin an animal, and you will bring me, let's say, half a dozen wolf skins. Then I'll know that you have learned your trade. If it doesn't take you forever, and if the skins are in acceptable condition, I will take you on if you like. Or... Uh, you can start with one of the other masters, if that's what you really want. Teach me how to skin animals. Come back once you have more experience. What can I do for you? What are you selling? I can offer you everything you need to survive in the wild. Weapons, torches, provisions, even armor. I still have a special piece in stock. Double hardened armor of snapper leather, still unused. Interested? What do you know about paladins? Since these bastards have come to this city, I've had nothing but trouble. The last time I was headed for the upper end of town, the guards flat out stopped me and asked me what was my business there. And? Of course they let me in. I had my shop in the city when most of those pompous asses were still chasing pigs with wooden swords. And yesterday the bastards came and confiscated half of my goods. The paladin seized your goods? Everything I had stored in the backyard. They simply posted a guard in front of the entrance to the yard. If I'm lucky, they won't take everything. At least they might leave the armor here. Can you help me get into the upper quarter? What? What are you going to do there? I've got an important message. Well, well. Have you tried getting past the guards? I don't see why I should even try. You're probably right. I don't know how important your message is, and it's none of my business. But even if you told them that a ship full of orcs just anchored in the harbor, they'd send you away. Because they have their orders. So can you help me get into the upper quarter? It seems to be really important to you. The question is, how important is it to you? What are you getting at? I can help you. After all, I'm one of the most influential people here. But it'll cost you. What are you asking for your help? 100 gold pieces. You shark. Take it easy. It isn't your gold I have in mind. But... In principle, it's my gold. Gritta, the carpenter's niece, hasn't paid what she owes me in ages. But the little brat is constantly running around in new clothes. That means she has the money. I'd like to beat it out of her. But Master Thorben, the carpenter, is also a very influential man. Get me the money and I'll help you. Where can I find this Gritta? Like I said, she's the carpenter's niece. His house is down the street, the last house on the right before the smithy. How exactly can you help me? Quite simple. I'll use my influence to see to it that one of the master craftsmen here takes you on as an apprentice. As such, you'll practically be a citizen of the city and can enter the upper quarter. Besides which, you'll earn something while you're at it. Where could I sign on as an apprentice then? Basically, with any master here on the main street. That would be Harrod the Smith, Bosper the Bowmaker, Thorben the Carpenter, or Constantino the Alchemist. One of them is bound to take you on. But it's important that the other masters agree. That's always been the custom here in Corinus. How do I get the approval of the other masters? You just have to convince them. Go and talk to them. But if more than one of them is against you, you don't stand a chance. So behave yourself. Why don't you take me on as an apprentice? I would. But the other masters wouldn't agree. I just recently took on another apprentice. Is there another way to get into the upper quarter? Perhaps. If I think of anything, I'll let you know. I hardly know what to believe anymore.
Hey, you! Can you teach me how to pick locks? Hmm. For I'm not. I've come about Gritta. My niece? What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the moneylender, just to settle her debts. And now this. Gritta should be in the house. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. Hey. What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Gritta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. Mateo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you, back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Wealth, happiness. Sometimes we were even invited to high society events. The festivities, all the beautiful clothes and hairdos, the fine dining and civilized conversations. Everything was better back then. No one would have dared to humiliate the heart of a poor widow with such ridiculous claims. Whatever shall I do? My pension is barely enough to make ends meet, and times are getting even rougher. One sees it everywhere. People must scrimp and save. It's been weeks since the last ship came to town. My husband was the captain of a merchant ship. Actually, he even owned the ship. From his long journeys, he always brought me presents. Exquisite fabrics from the mainland, precious spices from the southern countries. Most people haven't even heard of these things. But then, one day, I got the tidings that the Gritta had sunk. That was the name of the ship. My husband called it that out of love for me. I wept and prayed that my husband had survived the disaster. Every day I hoped to hear from him, but all my longing was in vain. May Innes have mercy on his soul. May he rest in peace. Since that time, I have been living under these modest circumstances, and now this soulless, callous Mateo is after the last bit of my life savings. Please have mercy on a poor woman. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. I'm going to pay the sum for you. You would do that for me? Oh, I knew you weren't a greedy bastard like that Mateo. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Come back once you've taken care of that. I want to show you my gratitude. Come back when the matter with Mateo is settled. Hey, you! Here's your 100 gold pieces. You want to pay for her? <laughs> I'd have preferred it if you'd squeezed it out of her. Still, 100 gold pieces is 100 gold pieces. You've held up your part of the deal. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry. I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. First, I've heard of it. You listen to the wrong people. Teach me how to skin animals. Right. Listen, it's quite easy, really. You take a sharp blade and cut open the animal's belly. 
then make a few small incisions on the inside of the legs, and you can peel off the skin. Bring me the wolf skins and we shall see. I'm not telling you. You mustn't believe everything you hear. I'd have gone about it differently. Can you teach me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Mateo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still have a mountain of debts, and I need the money. How much do you charge? 200 gold pieces. Maybe later. It was very noble of you to pay for me. I want to show you my gratitude. Here's a bottle of wine which my husband, may Innos rest his soul, brought back from the southern islands. Also, I'm going to spread the news around. At last there's somebody in town whose virtue... Yeah, yeah, never mind. As long as there are men like you in this town, I still have hope that everything will turn out well. What do you want? I wanted to have a look around here. Then where exactly are you headed? Where did you pick that up then? What interesting things are there to see here? There's uh, a cat house here and a tavern. The landlord's name is Kardef. If it's information you want, he'll be the right person to talk to. Do you uh, need money, by the way? Are you giving it away? No, but right across the street here is the uh, house of Lamar, the money lender. Well, I'm sure he'll give you a few gold pieces. Just go ahead. Do you work for Lamar? Hmm, smart kid. Actually, I was on my way to the upper quarter. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was about to board a ship and have it take me to the king for an audience. People like you and me haven't been allowed in the upper quarter since the paladins came. Are you a citizen of this town? If you mean do I live here, yeah. But still they won't let me into the upper quarter. Mm, only the Toths can get in there are the merchants and craftsmen from the lower end of town. The people from the harbor district don't carry much weight in Corinnus. There isn't even a regular militia patrol down here. Has anything exciting happened lately? Not long ago, the city guards turned the entire harbor district upside down. They were searching for stolen property. <laughs> there have been plenty of thefts here lately, especially in the better quarters. They're obviously trying to blame the poor suckers at the harbor for everything. How's it going? How much do you want? What do you mean, how much? I'm the money lender and you came to me. What could you want from me? Money, of course. Well, lend me some money. Sure, how much would you like? I charge 20%. 200 gold coins. That's a lot of money. I'll see you here again tomorrow, and the money too. Understand? You always throw your money at people like that? Don't worry, you'll be back. Otherwise, I'll find you and kill you. It's that simple. You've got such a distinctive mug that it wouldn't take long for me to find you. So don't even think about playing around with me. Can you teach me how to pick locks? 
You have paid. However, how much? 200. Fine. Here are 200 gold pieces. This money will really help me. We can start as soon as you're ready. Teach me how to pick a lock. Come back once you have more experience. Hey! Ah, you've come just in time. I'm in need of an assistant for a magic experiment. I'm sure you're eager to do me a favor for science's sake. Easy, my friend. First tell me what this is all about. I have developed a new spell. A spell of oblivion. I've already successfully carried out a few practical applications, but I don't have time to conduct one final test. What's in it for me if I help you? I could teach you how to brew potions. I know the recipes for healing and mana essences and for potions of great speed. Tell me more about the experiment and the spell. The spell serves to make somebody forget various events. So far, I have only found it to work when the person in question is angry, for instance, if he has been knocked down or robbed. Even if he has only witnessed such a deed, he will scratch it from his memory. So I'm supposed to knock somebody down and then put a spell on him? Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So you should pick somebody who's by himself. If there are other people around, you'll just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Wait for the right moment. All right, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. Oh, man, my head! Wait a minute. 
Leave me alone, you filthy brute. Wait until Lord Andre hears of this. Wait a minute. I couldn't get away with that. He I agree with you completely. Hey! I'm in enough trouble. I met to Valentino. And? I gave him a sound beating. <laughs> he deserved it. Here, my own opinion I found that. this ring on him when our little disagreement had been Honestly, settled. You're I welcome to myself. pass it on to the next person who beats him up. Only wait and see. That's really, not how what interesting. I heard. Where did you pick that I'm up? I'm staying out of it. I'm not That's not what I heard. Knew. But he I knew that all along. That. Everybody knows by now. That's an open secret. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. I used the spell scroll. Fine, fine. And were you successful? Yes, it worked. Excellent. One small success for science, but a big one for me. Now. I can use my time to instruct you in the arts of alchemy. I could also give you some useful things if you want. Instruct me in the art of alchemy. To prepare a potion at the alchemist bench, you need a laboratory flask. And you're going to need different plants or other ingredients for each potion. Instruct me in the art of... What do... Instruct me in... What do you want to know? Don't say. I've got no time for things like that. That's not what my husband thinks. Someone's going to do it. I don't believe that. What are you cooking there? Oh, a fish soup. It's not all that tasty, but at least it's hot. You can try a plateful if you like. What can you tell me about the city? Most citizens in this town are afraid of thieves. Therefore, it's not a good idea to enter strange houses. But if you're looking for a place to stay overnight, you're welcome to sleep in my hut. There's an extra bed that you can have. Aren't you afraid of thieves? The only valuable thing that I ever owned has already been taken. Oh, someone stole my statue of Inos. Could you cook me some soup? I cook for everybody. For you too, if you want. All you need to do is bring me a fish. Could you cook me some soup? Nothing could be simpler. Here, have a plate. I know nothing about picking locks. Hey, you! Where you going? No matter what your plans are, there'll be plenty of time later. You're right in front of the Pearl of Corinnis, the Red Lantern. This is the most beautiful brothel in all of Myrtana, damn it. Sailors from the most remote corners of the world dock here just to spend a few nights in the Red Lantern. 
And now, it's you who has the chance, nay, the honor, of spending a night with Nadja, the most passionate flower of the gods. Come on in, and you're going to experience what others cannot even dream of. I have to feel sorry. For I you. must be crazy. What are you doing here? I'm not touching that. Hey, Laris, you old scoundrel. How did you get here? I was able to escape to the Valley of Mines just in time, together with Lee and some of the other boys. You remember Lee, don't you? Of course I remember Lee. I got out of the colony with him then, just after the barrier was destroyed. He and his boys are now on the farm of Onar, the landowner. He made a deal with the farmer. He and his boys defend the farm, and Onar feeds them in return. I'm not touching that. I must talk to the paladins, by any means. What do you want from them? They've got a powerful amulet, the Eye of Inos. I must have it. And you think they'll give it to you? You'll never get into the upper end of town. I'll find a way somehow. Sure. If you want to ingratiate yourself with the citizens or play errand boy for the militia. It can't go on like this forever. Do you know why the paladins are here? Nobody knows for sure. Lots of people think it's because of the orcs, but I think there's another reason. It probably has something to do with the old penal colony. Tell me more about Lee and his mercenaries. What do you want to know? How do I find the landowner's farm? It's quite simple. You leave the seaport by the east gate and then follow the path towards the east. I can take you there if you want. Tell me more about the mercenaries. Well, if you're as tough as you were back then, you shouldn't have any problems with them. Most of them are ruffians, and if you can't stand up to them, you won't get far. <laughs> if you're squeamish, you don't have a chance of joining them. Exactly what I said. Why aren't you with Lee and his mercenaries? But I am, just not on the farm. You could say I'm our outpost in the city. We don't want the ship to sail without us. You didn't get that from me. Nobody ever asked. What ship were you talking about? It's on the open sea harbor, behind the cliffs. Lee and a few of his people really want to get away from here. But that could take a while. Why? You'd better ask Lee about that. If you meet him, he's got plans. I've got my own opinion about that. It's totally obvious. Do you know anything about a thieves' guild in town? The questions you ask. Of course, there's a thieves' guild here, just like in every big city. And every petty pickpocket or fence is probably connected to it somehow. Nothing's ever going to change that. I can't believe that. Do you know where I can find the thieves' guild? <laughs> no offense, but even if I knew, I wouldn't tell you anything. These people usually react very sensitively to things like that. If you want to get involved with them, you should be very careful. You have to feel sorry for them not touching that. Vatra sent me. He told me to come to you when I needed help. So you've already been to see Vatras? You must have made a lasting impression on him. Otherwise, he certainly wouldn't have volunteered my name. Especially not since the matter with those missing people still hasn't been resolved. Tell me what you need. You don't have to ask me that. Vatras gave me this ornament to bring to you. He said it is to be taken back. Of course. It's up to me, as usual. I might have known. I'll have to walk halfway across the island to take it back to the water mages. I can take the ornament there for you. Hmm. I think I had better take it there myself. But you could come with me. Only, I can't leave here at the moment. I need to keep an eye on the harbor. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I can't talk about that. Vatras would have my head. I need your help. And what exactly were you thinking of? I need some money. Don't we all? Sorry, but I have none to give you. But Lamar, the money lender, still owes me a favor. Go to him and borrow whatever money you need. I'll take care of the rest. You'll find Lamar in the harbor district, where it borders on the lower part of town. About those missing people, 
Well, tell me what you know. The first was William, one of the fishermen here in Corinus. One day, he simply didn't return. At first, we thought that one of those sea monsters out there had eaten him and his boat for breakfast. But not too long afterwards, other people started disappearing from the town and the surroundings. Pretty random events, though. Everyone's at a loss so far. The way it looks, we'll just have to wait until we finally stumble across a clue. Isn't this a case for the militia? The militia is pretty useless, if you ask me. They're never going to clear this up. The missing people have just vanished into thin air. Vatras said you could help me join a community. <laughs> Getting tired of being the underdog, are you? All right, I see your point. I can exert my influence with the mercenaries if you want to join Lee. And I'm sure we can find a way to get you into the monastery soon. But the easiest thing would certainly be for you to join the militia. Which community do you prefer? The militia. <laughs> yes, I can imagine you'd like that, eh? Read the law to other people while you're pocketing their purses. The paladins have set up their provision store by the harbor. Their provisions master is a good friend of mine. Maybe he can do something for you. His name is Martin. So what's your business with Vatras? I've got this little agreement with the water mages, you see. What kind of an agreement? We work for them, and they see to it that our past in the penal colony doesn't get us into trouble. You're talking about the Ring of Water? You've heard of it? Vatras told me about it. You might have mentioned that right away. What exactly do you do here at the harbor? I'm doing what we all do. I fulfill the tasks the water mages give me. Some of the missing people were fishermen. They disappeared along with their boats. That's why I'm standing here, watching the harbor. Maybe something will happen yet. But you could help me. Listen, I shall give you my aquamarine ring. It signifies that the bearer belongs to the ring of water. If you wear my ring, the rest of us will know that you're acting on my behalf. Get someone to take over my duties so that I can take the ornament back. One of us is always keeping an eye on the marketplace, but I don't know whose turn it is. You had better go talk to all those standing around there. Once the right man sees my aquamarine ring on you, he will let you know. Tell him to see to it that somebody else takes over here at the harbor. Tell me more about the Ring of Water. The ring is to the water mages what the paladins are to the fire magicians. But, unlike the paladins, we operate in the background. The ring is a mighty weapon in the battle against the dangers that threaten the people of Corinus. But this only works as long as we keep the identity of all those secret who belong to the Ring of Water. So keep this to yourself. Sure. I want to join the Ring of Water. That's fine with me. But the decision about whether you will be accepted or not lies with the Water Mages alone. What did you do to impress the Water Mages? I protected them for a long time when we were still living with the barriers. And they have plenty of reason to be grateful to me. What's it like to belong to the Ring? We are very different from the usual communities you can join here in Corinus. Once you're one of us, we're not going to ask anything of you that you are not ready to do. The only thing we truly require of you is to keep quiet. We work in secret and do not want to let outsiders know who our members are. We shall keep an eye on you. Everything else remains to be seen. I see. Can you teach me something? Sure. I can help you become stronger and more dexterous if you like. Teach me something. Good. Your strength has increased. It can't go on like this forever. 